Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Recently, this type of modules for varying the voltage have become popular. They are very handy because you can vary the voltage of a fixed voltage source. This one, for example, you can take a 12 volt battery, connect the module, and then you can vary the voltage of the battery from 1.25 volts, which is the minimum output, up to the 12 volts of your battery. And this other is an elevator. You connect the same 12 volt battery and you can obtain up to 60 volts. And they are relatively cheap. And they work very well. However, they have a problem and it is that in order to vary the voltage, they have this type of potentiometer, it is a trim pot. So you need a small screwdriver and move here in order to adjust your voltage. Now that is not practical and the other problem is that this type of trim pot is not designed for moving continuously. It is designed to fix your voltage and leave it there for a long time. If you move continuously the trim pot, it will be damaged shortly. So, in this video we will see how to change the trim pots with a normal potentiometer. This other module also have two trim pots, one here and the other here, because in this module you can vary the voltage and also the maximum output current. I connected a 9 volt battery and this is our minimum voltage 1.2 volts and if we move the trim pots we can adjust the voltage the trim pot is multi turn so you can adjust finally your output voltage and the maximum voltage that you can obtain is that of your source in this case it will be close to 9 volts let's see okay almost 9 volts which is the battery voltage so let's remove the two trim pots the voltage trim pot and the current trim pot it is these three points here and this other three Here we have the two trim pots, 10 kilo ohms for voltage control and 5 kilo ohms for current. So I will use these two. This is a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. It is multi turn, so you can make up to 10 turns. Therefore, you can fine tune your output voltage. And for the current, this is a common potentiometer, a single turn 5 kilo ohm potentiometer. For the current, we don't need very fine control because normally we just need to set a maximum output current and not a precise value. Okay, so I changed the two trim pots with the potentiometers and made the connections. I'm going to fed the module with the power supply 
and I have a multimeter to check the output. So let me turn on the power supply, 10 volts at the input and we have some 23 volts at the output and let's check the potentiometer and there it is. Now we can easily adjust the voltage up and down. So now we need to make an enclosure for our module with the potentiometers. Here it is, input and output voltage. And we have the two potentiometers, voltage and current adjustments. The step up module is connected to the power supply and we have the multimeter to check the output voltage. Let me turn on the power supply, 10 volts input voltage and we can see that we have 12 volts at the output and we can set it to any value we want up to 60 volts maximum using the potentiometer. As you can see, we can find adjust the voltage because we have the multi-turn potentiometer. And now let me connect a load in order to test the current control. I will use this incandescent lamp. We have now 12 volts at the output of the module and let me connect here the lamp. Let me put it off camera in order not to be blind by the light. You can see that the output only lost a couple cents of a volt so the output is stable and here you can see we are drawing 1.65 amps. Let me increase the voltage in order to draw more current. Okay, 1.8 amps and we have 13 volts. Now I have the setting of current to the maximum, but we can reduce the maximum current that we want. Okay, here it is at 1.2 amps. Okay, and the output voltage is reduced in order to have this current at the maximum. So the module will, uh, will give you a maximum of 1.15 amps. Doesn't matter if you try to raise the voltage, the current will stay at this maximum value. It can be lower, but not more than that. So there you have it, modding of a step-up module in order to use it with potentiometers. I hope you liked the video, if that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for visiting the channel and see you in the next video.